Hello guys, welcome back to this brand new tutorial video. Inside this video, we will learn how we can create a type of view pager and tab layout. Okay, let's get started. I mean, this is so common inside Android developments. Uh, if you are developing a big project, probably you will use that type of technologies inside your project. Let's look what we done. Uh, inside my application, I have a one page navigation. Inside this page navigation, I am defining start destination for our home page. And our home page is here. Inside our home page, we have two variables selected page and pager state. This selected page for remember uh, which button we clicked, uh, and this pager state for our horizontal pager. Okay, we define it our variables and after that I define it as scaffold. I define it at top bar as you can see in here and content. Inside the content, I define it that's row and also that's horizontal pager. Uh, our view as you can see constraints vertically. That's why uh, inside the root package I, I am using the column and inside the that column object, I define it as row because I want to sh I want to create that three buttons in here. Tap button, and this is the custom button, as you can see in here. And uh, if you want to use that top button, you have to provide some constructor parameters. Text is selected on click and modifier. This modifier provided, but. Uh, Inside the tab button, you can add more uh, modifier parameter, modifier property. Three tab button I created, and inside every button is selected. By the way, uh, this is the boolean, as you can see in here. And we are checking selected page equals to zero. This condition returns to us true or false values. And inside my horizontal pager, uh, state pager state, I am using my variable in here we created before. And modifier, I added a weight. And scroll enable force. Uh, this is your opinion. If you want, you can open that property, but I choose it close. And when uh, our page parameter came in, coming in here, equals to zero, we are gonna call first page content equals to one we are gonna call second page content if equals to two we are gonna call third page content as you can see we have three uh, three item in here which coming from in here we created our uh, page state parameter and we define it three items in here and also we created our First page contents, second page contents, and third page content. This is just simple uh, view. As you can see, there are just uh, one text inside these three page contents. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.